Hello, and welcome to this Bomb Portal training series presentation where we are continuing to look at in depth the features and best practices of this application. In this video, we're looking at how to start a new Bomb. Our agenda today includes what is the Bomb Portal, looking at some prerequisites before starting a new Bomb, our, looking at our first method of uploading a standalone Bomb, and then our second method of creating a, a managed BOM from our project. And then we conclude by looking at the BOM folder management. What is the BOM portal? As an application in the Ultium 365 platform, which although just a rather new application is already having a huge impact on our industry, not just for the PCB designers, but for many other areas, especially part procurement. So what is the BOM portal? The bomb portal is an advanced tool for creating and managing bombs, listing various items for review, and then providing vital information for procurement purposes. Before we get into actually creating our first bomb in the bomb portal, we want to look at some prerequisites. A common error that will often come up is a message that says items of the managed bomb content type are restricted to view only because the content type is not assigned to a lifecycle this is caused by the fact that a bomb cannot be uploaded or created from a design if a workspace lifecycle definition is not available for the managed bomb content type. The way you can fix this is actually go into the Altium 365 workspace under admin and settings and selecting lifecycle definitions. This will open up the, the lifecycle selection panel, which will allow you to select various numbers of life cycles. This area will include uh, life cycles for your projects and for your components. Under the generic life cycle panel, you can look at the life cycles that will be used for your managed bombs. And you can specifically look at see all slash change and see in detail every item that will use this particular life cycle scheme. You want to Make sure that the manage bomb is checked here for this life cycle. The two methods to create a new bomb is first off uploading and then creating a managed bomb from a project. And we're going to look at both of these in detail. The first one being uploading a bomb. In the bomb portal, you can easily upload a standalone agnostic bomb, which can be in the format of a CSV, Common Separated Values, XLS, Microsoft Excel Spreadsheet, or XLSX, which is your Microsoft Excel Spreadsheet XML format. To upload the bomb, you want to go to the Altium 365 workspace and select New. Here you will have the option then to upload a bomb. It will open the file locations for you to select your bomb from. From here you can you see the formats that are available. You simply select the bomb and you say open. The upload bomb panel will allow you to change the project name, add a description, and then also if you wish to change the folder location, you can do that at this time. From here it's just a matter of uploading. And with that, you will see that the bomb has now been uploaded. To open this, you simply double click on this and the new uploaded bomb can be opened. When you upload your bomb, the bomb portal will recognize the alternates that you have already chosen. You select that as yes, and those will then also be added to your bomb automatically. We now have a fully uploaded bomb that we can now work on. The second method of starting a bomb in the bomb portal is to create a bomb from a managed project in your workspace. To begin this process, you want to first open a project. Now, this project does not have a bomb attached to it, but what you can do is easily first off, hit the eclipses up here with the three dots and say, create your managed bomb. In this panel, you have a couple options. Number one, you can, actually, you can select variants of this project if you wish or you can select the, the no variation. You can also change the bomb location. From here, it takes your managed project and creates a bomb from that project. Here, we can open that bomb and we can now begin to work with this. There are, so there are two methods you can use here for starting a new bomb, either uploading a standalone bomb or creating a bomb from a managed project. 
With these different types of files and bombs, it's very important to understand the file management. So as you can see here that the project was actually pushed up into my main top folder. What you can do instead of having, having that is you can create new folders here. So you can easily create, let's say a bomb folder. And from that, go ahead and create the, the, the folder itself and then move particular bombs from this location into that folder. So just kind of keep this in mind when you're getting into more and more projects and more and more bombs that you can organize these into files and project folders. For any questions or comments, please reach out to us at product.altium.com. We would appreciate hearing from you. Thank you very much for your attention.